Guten Tag und willkommen auf Table Talk. Yes, Mother. Yes, I got new contact lenses. I don't have my glasses on right now. Oh, oh dear. Oh, Mother, I'm doing a show right now. I must go. Yes, it's Table Talk with Jonathan Bieber. Yes, yes, and I'm Mark Word, and I must go now. Think goodbye, Mother. Sorry. Good morning. I'm Jonathan Beaver, and I am here this morning for Table Talk. I have joined with myself a guest, a man named Tuo Take, who I must have met at Occupy Wall Street this past summer. Hello, Mr. Take. Don't, don't. Give me, 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 two take. I, I, I want one take, but, but it would two, so I took two take. Ah, hello, Mr. Take. Ah, I see. Uh, Mr. Take, let me ask you a question. Are you a Christian? Me, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know what they're talking about, man. That's a quite, quite, quite question right there. Have you been to church before? Yeah, I mean, I, I went over there with my, 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 my nanny and we went over there for a time. So you do believe that there's a God, then? It is it, 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 God. Let me ask you something. If you were to die tonight and stand before God in heaven, and he were to say to you, to take, why should I let you into my heaven? What would you say? Man, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I be... Thank you. So you think you are a good person, then? I, 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 I can do good. Do good. Uh, I do a good thing sometimes. I am not. And I can prove it. Let's take the good person test. It's a test to see whether we are a good person according to God. You see, we judge ourselves by the standard that we have set as human beings. We see each other and we see what kind of behavior we do. We say, oh, I haven't done that bad thing, so I am not so bad of a person. Or I have not done this bad of a thing, so I am not as good as that other person. But God sees us in a different light. He has a standard which is much greater than our own. He has the Ten Commandments. This is the standard by which God will judge us. And he will judge us, you see. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever told a lie? Ma'am, everybody lies all the time, eh? I have lied. I'm not wearing my contact lenses. I stole them, but they don't fit. As have I. Have you ever stolen? I have stolen from the grocery store. Sometimes when I'm hungry, I will eat a sandwich at the grocery store and then not pay for it. I mean, come on, man. I wouldn't do that, man. I am sorry. Have you ever used the Lord's name in vain? This would mean something like saying GD. Perhaps you are not aware that Christians are the only religion where the people use their God's name as a curse word. You never say, you never hear a Muslim say, Allah damn it. You never hear a Buddhist say, Buddha damn it. Only in Christianity do you hear such a slanderous, blasphemous saying as GD. Now, have you ever uttered such a thing? What do you know, man? Me, yeah, I've been, I've been up in a hole, man. Hmm, I have. As have I. Have you ever committed adultery, perhaps? Yes. You see, any time you have. Let me explain it this way. Let me explain it to you this way. When Jesus spoke, he spoke of this commandment. And he said, when you lust after a woman, you have already committed adultery. Now, I have done such a thing. 
Interesting. Yes, I have. I see. Well, that's only a few of the commandments. We have ten, but we've only covered a few. How have we done so far? Yeah, me, I gave up and we do not to them, it's not to them. Not very well. And how do you think God would judge us for our behavior? Very, very, very bad. I guess he's been man. I'm going in there. What do you think lawbreakers such as we would deserve? I'm a plain man. I'm a God. I give him a good. Indeed. We deserve God's punishment. Do you know what that is? I don't How do you know that? Hell. 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 It is called hell. We deserve to go to hell. You and I, all of us, all of humanity, deserve this punishment because we have sinned against God, because He is holy and we are not. We cannot have communion with Him. Well, does this concern you? Well, I will tell you something. There is a solution. God sent His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus lived a perfect life. He did not lust. He did not steal. He did not lie. He did not use the Father's name in vain. He did not do any of the things that we do, the things that we do that deserve punishment. And do you know what happened to Him? Hmm. Yes, that's right. He was crucified. He was nailed to a cross. He was beaten. He was whipped. He was spit on. And he died. He took that punishment for us. He did this because we deserve the punishment, but he took it for us. He said to the Father, Please punish me. Do not punish them. Only if they believe, then they shall be saved. That's all they have to do to be correct in your eyes. And so the Father punished the Son. He died, and then he rose again. He defeated death by rising again, so that we can have eternal life with him. Do you believe this? Yeah, yeah, I, I, believe, I believe in you I, I, I do believe. Uh, yeah, it's a good idea. I'm, I'm going to try, I'm try and, uh, and get up in there in a, in a couple of weeks, or maybe next week. Well, let me ask you one further question. Would you be willing to break one off for us? Yeah, yeah, I'll make it, I'll make it on it. ba 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 